I'm going to shoot a hook shot. Well, John, I just want to pump in a short one for Am Cam. Well, go ahead and shoot. <laughs> well, you know what I'm aiming at by the time I'm through, John. You see, the Amchem folks were working on an effective soybean herbicide at a time when most of the rest of the industry was concerned with finding an effective control for weeds and corn. And I think this is probably the reason why Amaben is the most effective soybean herbicide on the market today. It controls more than 70 different kinds of broadleaf weeds and grasses. It's clean and easy to handle, and it has no carryover effect at harvest time. Research work across the country shows that when you apply Amaben at planting time as a pre-emergent control for broadleaf weeds and grasses, that you actually get back anywhere from three to nine bushels of beans for that investment. And it only takes about a bushel and a half of beans to pay for the Amaben, and that's a pretty good return on your investment. This is one of the ways that you can cut down on the work that you do, as well as increase the amount of beans that you get from the field. It's spelled A-M-I-B-E-N, Amaben, a product of Amchem Products Incorporated. The important thing is to locate your supply and get it home for spring planting this year. All right, uh, how about more of the highlights of the tournament, fellas? Okay, Maynard, we'll hear from you later. Now to the championship game in the state tournament, Edina against Moorhead. Before the game, we talked to Pat Driscoll of Moorhead and his coach, Shockey Strand. We wanted to know what impressed them about Edina, and Pat Driscoll answered. Well, definitely their size, but um, we've played bigger teams before, and I think um, we can make up in some other phase of the game. Very good, John. Do you have any advice for Shockey? Well, Shockey, uh, I think uh, no club can play a man to man. If you ever get ahead in the last five minutes and, and they, they have to come out after you, that's your game. And uh, I suppose, like you said before, that everybody uses his own defense against you, and uh, I imagine that Dino. We'll use a man-to-man or a zone. What, what do you think? Well, I, ho I hope they come out man-to-man -man because if uh, one of their guards, uh, I think, tries to take uh, Pat man-to-man, -man, I think he'll probably undress him. Now star player from Edina, Bob Zender. We asked Zender if he felt a lot more confident going into this championship game than last year. Oh, yes. This year, after playing last year, I've got the confidence. Last year and during the tournament, I didn't play too well, and I kind of was kind of scared to get out there, you know, because I was afraid I'd do something wrong and... That's bad in front of the crowd, but this year I've got a little bit of confidence. You get a kick out of blocking shots. I counted eight shots that you uh, uh, blocked last night. Yeah, I, I like that. It's kind of a lot of fun. Then it was time for the championship game to start. Listen as the moment of truth arrives. The volume of the cheering will be up for this one, that's for sure. We're ready for the jump ball between Shellhaas and Eisman. Shellhaas an inch taller at 6'5". The toss and the tap to Edina. Right leaping up to get it. He's in the front court. Going toward the basket to our left. Kedrowski has it off on the left side. Looks to Zender. Feeds him. He's at the baseline. He's hemmed in. And his pass goes off the hands of Shell Haas. Apparently deflected out by an opposing player because Edina was... As the evening progressed, it was evident that Edina would repeat as a state champ. He out-rebounded and out-shot Moret all evening and built a first quarter lead of 21-9 to a final total of 72 to 55. The Edina fans were ready to explode as the final seconds ticked away in the game with the reserves playing for both teams. Free throw, not good. Rebounded by Edina. Picking it off with McLennan. Let's a long one go. In under, it's picked up by Trolland as it was short. Passes ahead. The game is all over. And the Edina players leap high in the air as they surround themselves in the happiness of victory. The final score is Dina 72 and Moorhead 55. After the noise had toned down, Sid chatted with Dwayne Bagley, the coach, and some of his star players. Dwayne, you've know, been a good friend of yours for a long time. We gave you kind of a nickname, Bernie. You're an old pessimist. You're never going to win at all, but now you've won two state championships in a row. What did you actually think before the tournament? You can tell us now. Well, I, <laughs> this is a tremendous ball club, I'll tell you. It's one of the best clubs. And I'll tell you right now, it's the best club that I've ever coached. It's a tremendous ball club. They have a lot of poise. They have the, the experience. And uh, above all, they kept their heads all the time. And uh, they really played some basketball. And, and uh, they saved the best for last. They really played a tremendous game tonight. As you mentioned, this ball club has a, a lot of ability, but there must be something else that makes a championship ball club. What made this club a real championship ball club? Dedication. They had a lot of dedication and a lot of ability. 
They had a lot of ability.